Hey, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power. It's been a while. Uh, I am here today. Wanted to show you what I've been doing for a while. I have been going, had some medical issues. The vid about got me. Got to learn how to walk again from a spinal lesion. But uh, we've been doing stuff for a minute. We are in the warehouse. We got a bunch of new products that we need to do out here on uh, YouTube. We got systems that we designed. Um, we pretty much design systems all day, pack this stuff up. I got a truck out here waiting right now. Um, we're going to get back in here. If you need a wind and solar system, we have product for a long, long way. Um, I'm going to come back with you after we get this on this truck, talk a little bit about what we're doing and make sure all those that have been asking if I'm still around and still in business and what we're doing. Uh, haven't gone anywhere, but word of mouth goes a long way when you take care of people. Haven't had to do a lot of marketing. And uh, we're going to show you some of the things we got. And if you need a system and somebody would listen to your needs, we, we build custom stuff. So, um, you know, we got stuff going out every day. So reach out. I'm going to put the link just to my email and our toll-free number in the description below. Um, I'll be back in a few minutes with an overview of some new products that we have that will be featured at HurricaneWindPower.com. All right, so I mentioned a little bit ago that we got a bunch of new products here, and um, we've been just stripping stuff out on the truck all day. And I mentioned that I had some uh, health problems, and I got to learn how to walk again because I got a lesion on my spine. And since uh, I've been doing that, I have... Uh, there is a lot of new products and there's a lot of different ways that people do things today than they do, you know, two or three years ago when I knew about the price and what everything was on every single part. And I have spent a lot of time uh, renewing our lines, testing things. And then, you know, we got all our OEM stuff. So everything that we're bringing to you is stuff that is tried, true, tested. And, you know, some of it's relatively new. Some of the stuff I've been told that the way you know we used to do things is old and antiquated, and I'm Windows Seven, so I'm going to be old school. I'm, I'm Tony. I'm old school Hurricane Tony, and I'm going to bring back some of the things that uh, some of us in the industry still like. And frankly, in different applications, different products make more sense. I'm not uh, into the space where. We're opening up batteries and taking them apart and telling you that a new battery every week is the best way to go or, you know, do this or do that. And I mean, I truly believe that um, all these lines of products and the full gamut of things that we have, depending on the application, may be best suitable. So we do a lot of off-grid stuff here and we do a lot of off-grid that does heavy battery pulls. And, um, you know, today people have taken and everything is a load support pass through all in one, this and that. And, you know, let's just start over there. So we sell a bunch of good products from a bunch of different companies that you're going to find on my website. We have some of our own stuff that, you know, we've used and had great success with it. And, um, you know, not having a transformer, let's go over to our quantum line. Quantum is something that, um, you know, I kind of I kind of have a physics thing. I kind of like to study that. I kind of like to nerd out on that. So the quantum stuff is my line of products. And, you know, some of this stuff is made a little bit more. It, it may be a little bit more expensive. Most everybody, depending on, hey, we've got support here. We've got support here, there. I mean, I'm not going to speak for other people, but being honest, the stuff is pretty much important. If I'm if I'm speaking out of tune, somebody wants to correct me in the comment section, and you know I can't go over to Import Genius and show you where the thing come from. You know I I stand corrected. But that being said, it comes down to it's not an issue of is it made here, is it made there, is it made well, who is it made by, has it been tested. Do you have support? Is there someone that you can talk to? And we offer that. 
and we've had extensive testing on this stuff. And I mean, these inverters in the last year and a half have had less than a 1% failure rate. And um, we, we've changed a few fans. We have access to cards. So we're here to support you. We have a toll-free 1-800 number. We have a live chat. If you can't get a person, send me a message. We have that stuff queued back up, and you'll get a reply within 24 hours. If we're going on the weekend, it might be 48 hours. But we will take care of you at Hurricane, I promise. So, um, you know, here are server rack batteries. I'm not getting into that space and trying to really compete with some people. We've got a lot of batteries that we've used. I've had a lot of good luck with the EG4 stuff from over at Signature. Kudos to those guys. This is some stuff that... We use here that uh, I'm offering in uh, in this space, um, you know, BMS window, 5KW server rack battery um, breaker turn off. We've got an all-in-one 5KW. So if you have a 50 amp service and you need all-in-one AC pass through. Uh, it has a built-in charger, 110 volt output, 5K. It'll handle a small, smaller surge, and these are transformerless inverters. So they're efficient in the sense that they have a low power draw running all the time in terms of you don't have to keep transformers energized. So in some applications where you don't have heavy inductive loads and you need 120 volt, I like these. We have this in a 120-240 split phase um, 10KW unit that is going to be offered and available. Same thing. So getting back to, um, let's pop off over into the solar kits, our premium 12-volt, 100-watt um, solar kits. We got the Grape Solar. Everybody likes Victron stuff now. You know, we got the Grape Solar Victron kits, 12-volt premium stuff we're putting together. The sales point that if you've been hanging around for a minute and look, these Victrons have got a real nice Bluetooth app that handles consumption. So if you're in the RV market, if you are uh, somewhere off grid to where you just want to see how much power you're making or not on your phone, another great product. This one I've been holding back for six months because a lot of our people are using lithium batteries. The BMSs are funny with the uh, wind turbines. If there's any condition where the load shuts down on a wind turbine, we want to make sure that we have white papers done and documentation on how to protect a lithium battery BMS from overvoltage. I've got some very smart people that we're working with now. And, um, you know, what, what, like I said, I've had... Um, High energy, high energy. Anybody that's been in this space for a moment knows that that is one of the best wind turbines in the business. When we take our 1500 watt, this is the Pegasus. I've just kind of quickly thrown that together. It's a little bit heavier. So minimum, I would say we need to put this on a two inch pole. This one, we don't do any of that stuff with the, you know, it comes with the heavy coupling. You're going to need to weld that to the top of a probably minimum two-inch pipe, depending on how, how you want to go up. Um, and this is a true 1500 wide, max 1800. The, um, again, the, the data is on our site. And when you hook one of these up with a midnight classic clipper combo, you really, over time, in terms of kilowatt hour production, I have learned over the past seven or eight years that it is easier on the wind turbine. The control is max; it's just maxed out. You don't have all that torsion binding up into the uh, rotary assembly. Your bearings last longer. This high energy. Let me. This is sitting on an inch and a half pipe. We've kind of just thrown this together. I'll do a full assembly video later. But we spent a lot of time putting things together, trying to be the cheapest guy on the market with, you know, the best bang for the buck. I've got a lesion on my spine now. Standing in front of the, uh, standing in front of the lab and the machinery is not a good thing for me now. I can't do that. I've got people that want good quality wind turbines. There is a vacancy in that space to where we have things that are rated that, you know, you're supposed to. According to the NREL, 
It's all over my website. It's 24 to 20, 24.6 miles per hour. Wind power is exponential. So on a thousand watt wind turbine, you may get four or 500 watts max. In that last six miles an hour, you see the curve shoot up 500 watts. So, you know, comparing this to something that is rated at 60, 80, 100 miles an hour, it's just apples and oranges. And besides that, this one, if you can get in here on this plate, um, you see the different certifications that this turbine holds. It's got a nameplate. The difference is, is the neodymium magnets in this wind turbine are sealed. As a result, they don't rot. Um, any you know stuff that's open tends to do that. Sometimes over a relatively short period of time. The uh, there's a strain relief here that's built into that. As far as when your wires go down the pole. Slip rings are internal. These things have a warranty. They have uh, data, third-party engineered data on how much noise they make. A lot of people are really concerned about how much noise that these things make. Um, well engineered turbines, these things are still wound to the specifications that we order them at. We are the high energy, American distribution uh, hub at this point. And we've got this turbine in the 400 watt, the 600 watt. So this is something old school is back. I can send you guys to people that have had these things for 10 years. And there's not a lot of companies that can show turbines that are up flying around after 10 years. That's why we went with, with this product. I'm not going to build this stuff for a while anymore or we do it we're going to do it very you know we're going to do it in a limited uh, space in terms of permanent magnet alternators and uh, you know that's where I'm that's where I'm at with that so look for our uh, midnight classic clipper, clipper combo in the uh, 1500 watt 96 volt and then we got the 48 volt if you want to just do straight diversion loads we have uh, 400 watt, 12, 24, and 48 volts. 600, I believe, comes in 24 and 48 volts. So that's what we're doing with wind currently. Now, some of the things that I have brought back personally because I like, I like, I, I, I really love the lithium in some spaces. If it get in, if you need a weight controlled uh if you're in an RV and you don't want to put tons of pounds of batteries up front because you have to be concerned about the tongue weight, then, you know, maybe, maybe that's not for you. But we have a lot of people environmentally controlled, uh, maybe not be an option. A telecom battery in severe uh, environments where you can't control the thing, um, hot, cold, whatever. We don't have a BMS. It's simple. There's big, there's big plates that this battery I'm getting ready to show you weighs 130 pounds. Um, over the years, we have used this battery um, under the name Outback uh, P. I think Energy Cell. It's the pure lead carbon battery, the green battery, formerly kilovolt. We we love to use this battery. So I've got this. I've got this. Uh, again, you're going to see quantum power my brand uh, this is a quantum power battery we put this in a lot of installs um, when we don't use lithium so I mean you know if we don't work out exactly what I like with the wind turbines on the lithium side we're probably going to have a um, PLC hybrid battery solution but I mean you know Old schools bringing back uh, pure lead acid because I know a lot of you guys still like them. You can't get the stuff that you want. So I'm out here for you. Um, I still love the old inverters with the transformers. This is the uh, new Midnight Rosie. We've got these. We've got these in stock. They've got the new Barcelona and they've got another controller. Uh, they also have one of the, um, they've got some exciting stuff in the line coming with the um, um, pure 
not the pure lead acid, but the um, pass through all in one inverters. They've got some, I think they've got some lithium batteries coming along the way that we'll be able to show you here shortly. And, uh, you know, don't forget, I'm over here, I'm just pulling things out for installs. Don't forget, you know, I just, you guys, I love it when you send me pictures, but I cringe when you send me stuff and you don't have breakers. And I can't tell you how many times that people hook things up wrong, whatever happens, an MC4 connector arcs out, something shorts out, and then people can't find a way to disconnect high voltage quick enough. They are turning things off with tree loppers and everything like that, everything else like that. Um, we have changed. When I first started doing this, a 140 watt Kyocera panel was $400. 100 watt panel at one point is $400. We were buying sales to solder solar panels together. And I mean, it's coming up on almost 20 years that I've been doing this from at least not in a business capacity, but as a hobbyist anyway. Um, things, times have changed. People, you know, people have changed. So we've lost a lot of good people that are very knowledgeable in this field. A ton of people that I relied on. And, you know, there's a few. There's a few left, but we've lost a lot of good people in the last in the last little bit. Your combiners, your breakers, these um, DC load centers. You know, here here is one. This uh, midnight DC load center. You know, I have stayed away from YouTube for a long time. I got. I guess. I guess I'm getting old, and I got annoyed with uh, seeing people come on and tear apart a battery and affiliate marketer saying that the newest product that somebody sent them and watching somebody open things with a, with a box. And I've, I've looked at some things and, you know, I don't know if the knowledge base has gotten up higher. I don't know if people have just gotten more savvy with this stuff, but I, I found I've actually, I, I have, I have, uh, I've hated wind and solar YouTube videos for a long time. And I've, I found it, in the last two to three months that, you know, I've, I've actually found some good information. I found some good webinars, things on grounding, things on uh, people warning people not to do things so they don't get shocked in certain ways. I found some value in the content and um, I'm ready to move back into that space. And I mean, frankly, I haven't felt like being in that space for a long time. Sometimes, um, uh, Sometimes it takes a little bit of a break. And I think that, you know, I see a lot of times people uh, are just waiting for one product at a time to get something across, open it up and show everybody the newest bells and whistles. And, you know, I've had a ton of people tell me, I wish I would have bought something from you. I wish I would have found you first. You're not doing any advertising. And I mean, you know, frankly, I don't have to. We've kept a low profile we don't carry huge amounts of staff because I don't want to pay a bunch of people that are checking their Facebook status all day. We kind of keep it trimmed around the thing. Uh, we, we, we try to keep the fat trimmed. We try to uh, keep the prices low for you guys. And I you know, hope people can appreciate that. But you know, as a result, we have to ship things. We have to do things. So if um, if you don't mind dropping me an email to the email dropped in the in the comments section, um, send us an email. I'd love to design something for you. We got some products, and I think that you know, with the distribution for all the different companies that we have at this point, I don't really have to sit around and wait for one box at a time to come over and do a product review. We've got uh, we've got. <laughs> We've got solar panels to the wall over here, over there. There is a manufacturing spot back there with an exhaust fan to put a winding machine in at some point. We may get into doing that. If we go to war with everybody, we may have to do that. Um, I don't know. I'm Hey, I'm uh, it's Tony, Hurricane One Power. Glad to be back, make a video, show you some of the things that we've got. Some of this stuff is not on the website currently. It's stuff that we give to our OEM clients, and we have a lot of different uh, design people that this, this stuff has been for. 
this stuff will be on the website. We look forward to working for you and bringing you some good pricing and hopefully some good content. We'll see how it goes. Till next time, Tony with Hurricane Wind Power, glad to be back. Thank you.